All right, so some sake news. Some sake news. Let me uh, go ahead and pull this up here. So as you may remember, Saki of Nimophila, ex Nimophila now, uh, no longer part of Nimophila, uh, doesn't even really reference or link to the band directly. Uh, I know that she was present for a signing, but the Blu-ray and DVD of the uh, the, the live performance of Budokan, which makes sense because she was part of it then. But it's it's like uh, it was like all of a sudden, right? It just came out of nowhere. For even the band, I mean, they even said that. So I was just like, okay, all right. Anyway, what is she doing now? Well, let's take a look here. I found this tweet to be interesting, and thank you for the person who sent it to me. Um, let's take a look at this here. So Asaki, former Nimifilla, I, I see a picture of her on a motorcycle. That looks pretty cool. Now let's get into that. Is that her motorcycle? Does she know how to ride? What's going on here? Well good thing we could translate this if it's wrong if it's something is misinformation here blame uh elon musk's uh, translation okay i guess twitter translation but it says yesterday we had a mastering of victor studio yeah that's the thing she's at victor studios right now you know we've heard that she has gone solo right and as i thought she even left her agency and i saw this image i was like victor studios is Saki going to sign with Victor Studios for something? I, I, I don't think you could just use the studio for free. Uh, there's a fee, you know. Uh, I'm sure it costs something. And I think there's an obligation. I know that I do not know the ins and outs of her contracts. And uh, neither do you, right? But what I do see is I see a uh, guitarist with talent. At Victor Studio, I, I, when I saw the dogs, I was like, oh, wait a second. <laughs> I've seen those dogs and Love Bites photos. Okay. All right. <sighs> okay. As, uh, uh, Victor Studio, as this year marks the 10th anniversary of Mary's major debut. Oh, that's right. Mary's Blood. Oh, was Mary's Blood Victor Studios? Interesting. It was deeply... Deeply moving to be able to visit for the first time in several years the studio where I was taken care of during my time at Victor. Oh, during her time at Victor. Okay. It will take some time before we can announce the details, but the CD will be arrived or will be released on June 21st and will also be available in stores. In addition to German Ends and Brightness, the album includes a song called The Empress that was born from a request to play a guitar solo on a girl crush track. On my way home, I got to straddle the motorcycle of composer and arranger Shibaski, uh, Shibasaki san, who was present during the mastering, and the motorbike is so cute. Yeah, it is a pretty cool bike there. Okay, <clears throat> I like the colors on that bike. It looks nice. All right. All right, pretty cool, pretty cool. So it's interesting. So it's been a while since she's been with at the studio. Um, it, this information does kind of help me out understand more. Um, so she used to be signed with Victor Studios. Uh, she's back there now, or I guess Victor Entertainment. Uh, but she's back there now to work on her album, her solo album. I, I, you know, we'll find out um, what sort of other connections there may be with Victor Entertainment. Um, maybe she's allowed to use the studio. Maybe obviously she would, she would have to pay for it or something. I, you know, but it does little details. If you know something, that'd be cool to know, man. It'd be cool to know. But yeah, I was like, Ooh, the main th reason why I want to talk about this is because I saw Saki of Victor studios behind her. I was like, Ooh, okay. What's going on with that? That's interesting. And then, um, that the motorbike, the way is the reason I say interesting by Victor studios Victor Entertainment is because some people really don't like them, uh, especially with like the way they manage Love Bites. And I understand it can be kind of a, like, what are they doing at times? I understand that. Sometimes it seems like they don't know what they have. You know, uh, I, I don't really have much more to say than that. You know, then, I mean, yeah. Okay. Oh, pretty cool. Now, this composer she talks about, do we know anything about him? 
I tried to look him up and to see if he has any involvement in something we've heard before. It's a lot of anime, a lot of anime related uh, productions. Okay, so if I say uh, Maka na Lip from Detective Conan, I like I don't know what that is. You may, uh, you know, it's. Um, there is that Inuasha. I recognize that. And then that's uh, D. Gray Man. Okay. Howling. Yeah. Uh, okay. It's just kind of different anime ish titles out of, that look, look like it. So I don't really know much about him. And I don't see his name mentioned on uh, bands that we. Uh, you know, cover quite regularly on this channel. So there is that, but pretty cool. So that's what Saki's doing. All right. That's what Saki. And does Saki know how to ride the motorcycle? Well, she may know how to ride, but she doesn't have a license. I don't have one. Thank you. She does not have a license. Um, but Hey, you know what? That doesn't mean you can't learn and practice like in the parking lot or whatever. And, uh, that seems like a pretty chill bike to start. But don't ask me. <laughs> when I started riding, I chose I chose the Beast. <laughs> and that was my first bike and only bike. Uh, the Fat Boy. <laughs> hey, hey, I, I can I could I could turn, I could curve, uh, I can I can lean quite a bit on that thing. Um pretty good. So I learned Quite a bit on that thing. Anyway, anyway. But that said, you guys let me know what you think is going to happen with Saki. Um, if her solo cr solo album is really going to be independent, like an independent label. I don't know how that really, really will work. Or if she's going to end up uh, uh, signing with someone again. Uh, with that said, you guys take it easy and have a good one.